Okay, today's video is about um, how I made these posts and how I got to do them. Um, Tinkercad isn't the um, best software to use to um, do certain things and one of the hardest things was actually producing these posts at the right distance apart. Um, there's no set tool for like saying oh you want the centers of the, that and that to be 40 and that and that say to be 80 you can't actually do that um, which is one of the limitations which is why I'm beginning to start to use Fusion 360 okay this was a board I made for um, my laser engraver and it had two PCBs I will show a picture I guess somewhere in this maybe at the beginning or at the end and basically there was two boards that needed to be mounted now the way to so basically I created each board's base first followed by um, a bigger board over under it to um, so I've just got the spike sticking up right so say we want to produce something where the holes of the items are safe between the center and center is 40 and the center and the center is say 80 now um, like I said there's no easy way to do that in Tinkercad so what you have to do create a box make that 80 say we are actually going to change those sides uh, and say that's 40 and let's call it two millimeter stick so now we've basically got a board, a thin board. Now, the actual corners are the points where we want the holes to be. And the easiest way to do this, if we look at this one here, um, I think that was something like a 7mm outer diameter and a 2mm inner diameter. So the way you're going to do this is... You're going to make a cylinder, drag a hole in it, or we'll put that there for now. The hole's going to be, say, I think I said two, let's, let's do that two. And move in a bit so we can. Two. Obviously, uh, this is the way I do it, it's must be not the fastest of ways. And this one is seven cent millimeters. by seven millimeters now we're going to use the align quite a lot so select those two we are now going to align them and we want everything centered and centered we've now got a hole going through the center so we've got a cylinder next thing to do is let's join it so we can move it all around right we need to place them on each corner but i say you can't do it so what we're going to have to do the outer diameter is seven so basically if we go in here add the seven onto that so we've got 47 and add it onto there so we have 87 we can now put that in theory on those corners and they're going to be the right distance apart now the best way to align these is to uh, control D control D control D so that can go up there we should have four or three copies so we should have four so that's going to work like that so let's uh, zoom it out a bit now if we grab those two and we set the align we can say align at the top and in theory align there but I think it's already aligned so it's not allowing me to do that I must have aligned them too well let's move that one in a bit so grab that again we're going to align it we want both edges to be there and both edges to be down the bottom now one thing you may find let's move that one in again so 
let's move that in now what you might find is sometimes when you select it uh, and then you go to do your align now if you click on that you see it's going to take everything from being there as far as I know no, didn't really work that time okay so now we've got to align it with that side and that side and the last one we've got to do again I'll just undo that select these that's the last one align it now what you may sometimes find is that rather than that peg going into the corner the board actually comes there and then puts everything off so what you do is select that but always make sure we're going to align it we do the red thing first because then that means you're aligning everything to that we do that and again up there that's all in the corner now in theory if I do that that should all be in the corner and I say we can then grab the whole lot group it we now have basically the board where the centers are 80 and 40 all you do is you get the diameter of that add it onto the width add it onto the height and then um, just place the cylinders in the corner and then all I did with this is basically, I think this is 3mm thick. So once I do that, I can just put this over there and they come through. Basically these are all the same. So do all the PCBs that you need. And uh, there you go. Once you print it off, you'll get what you want. Okay, that was a short video. This is uh, basically also to try my new Blue Yeti microphone. I hope it sounds good. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, like this video. Uh, we will be doing other content, obviously, uh, from laser cutters, 3D printers, mostly vinyl cutting a bit, uh, and lots of other reviews of items. Okay, uh, again, please subscribe. Leave a comment if you've got something to say, like an easier way. I do intend to go into Fusion 360 soon. Uh, but this um, Tinkercad is a very good quick way to do certain things but at certain other things it then doesn't really it's not really the best thing okay see you next time guys and girls